My name is Matthew Horn, and I am a student in Professor Bridges' class, COM 4357, Interculture Communication and Organization. The purpose of this video is to compare and contrast two cultures and demonstrate what I've learned in this course. The two cultures I'm going to be comparing today are the Israeli Jews and the Palestinian Arabs. I'm going to look at the conflict between the two cultures. Also, I want to look at dimensions that separate the two cultures. The class textbook, Intercultural Communication, states, the origins of the conflict between the Israeli Jews and the Palestinian Arabs can be traced to the end of the 19th century with the appearance of political Zionism and resulting in waves of Jewish immigration to Palestine. So this means that the conflict that we see today on the news stemmed uh, from this huge immigration. There are two distinct speech codes used by the Israeli Jews and the Arabs. The Arabs use a speech code known as Musaira. Musaira is composed of four different speech structures, repetition, indirectness, elaboration, and effectiveness. Phrases of repetition are used when being hospitable and praising the other people. Indirectness is used in order to not come across as being overbearing. Elaboration is used to help establish a deeper relationship. And finally, effectiveness deals with more the emotional side of the relationship. The Jews, on the other hand, use a very direct communication form that is very direct and assertive. This style of communication is known as degree. This means that communication between these two cultures is extremely difficult. It would take more time to communicate correctly between these two cultures just because of the communication styles and the sharp contrast between the two. Through these speech patterns, I would make the assumption that the Jews are more of an individualist culture and the Arabs are more of a collectivist culture. According to some articles I came across on the internet, my assumptions were correct. And that is, Palestinian Arabs belong to more of a collectivist culture and Israeli Jews belong to more of an individualistic culture. Another defining factor that separates the Jews and the Arabs is that both of their cultures believe that their religion is a chosen religion, and that means that both groups believe their race was called to be the chosen ones by God. And when you have two cultures with such a similar mindset living in such close proximity, it, is not, it does not make for a peaceful living situation. In conclusion, these reasons mentioned were just a few of, many, of the many differences that separate the Jews and the Arabs. And I personally believe it would take a miracle from God to resolve the conflict between those two cultures. If I had only learned one thing in studying intercultural communication this semester that I see benefiting me in the future in communicating with people from other cultures, it is to seek to understand their culture. And in doing that, I might better understand what they are trying to communicate.